YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes, folks, we are back once again with two new builds here today. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro, kind of showing you guys what you're going to see here today. We have kind of a split episode. I originally started by building the Red Baron plane that you see behind me here, uh, out of cardboard, thinking that, alright, we have a destructible plane, this is all hunky-dory. Well, a mod came out also that has, I guess we can call it real wings and scrap mechanic. I haven't quite figured it out yet. And that's the plane you see over to the right side. So we're going to do a little bit of experimenting today. I'll show off the Red Baron and then I'll show you the work in progress plane over to the right. Which, this is an amazing mod. It's a game changer. You actually can achieve flight with only minimal amount of thrusters. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, we're going to be checking these two creations out here today. Now, if you guys have any suggestions for future builds you want to see me do, comment below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Alright, folks. I have two new biplanes to check out here today. Now, ever since the Spud Gun update came out, I've been enjoying Scrap Mechanic a whole lot more. Since we have Destruction, which by the way, if you missed the last episode, we built a orbital cannon and chopped a skyscraper in half. But, I've seen some destructible planes, I know Moombo created one, and I wanted to create my own, so I created the Red Baron plane. Now, keep in mind, this is not going to be 100% accurate, and it's going to be a little bit ugly, and when I say ugly, it's because... I have built this completely out of vanilla. I'll put it up on the workshop. You don't have to download anything additional except for be in the test branch for the uh, spud gun. Not unless the spud gun's already officially released by the time you see this video. So, very, very awesome here. And then the other plane over here is all vanilla except for the wing parts, which we'll go over that here in a second. Now, let's go ahead and grab this Red Baron plane over here. You saw from the intro, I was kind of going over some trenches, which by the way, that's another, uh, that's a tile mod. I'll link that down in the description. Very cool mod. Uh, it might be useful for a uh, multiplayer one day. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and show you how this thing works. Alright, so this is the traditional way to fly in Scrap Mechanic. And I just say traditional because this is how we've always done it. It's kind of a... Uh, it's a little complicated once you look at it, but it really all does actually work out pretty well. So, we've got a ton of buttons in here. Now, I've custom mapped my controls to make it a little bit easier for me to fly. Uh, but essentially, you've got your wings uh, out here, and then you've got the uh, you've got the thrusters on those. That's going to help you roll. You've got your forward thrusters, will of course push you forward. You've got lift thrusters, uh, which kind of keep you at a stable hover. And then you've got additional up and down thrusters to help you pitch up and down. So, we're going to jump into here real quick. Now, yes folks, we do have some automatic spud guns on here, because why would you not have it on a biplane from World War I? I wonder how accurate those are. I put a little targeting on here, but I mean, it's kind of a... Puts you in the center. I guess if the spud gun was in the center, that would make a lot more sense. But I wanted dual spud guns, so I kind of stuck them to the outside. Gave you a little bit of extra uh, wideness there. That way it would be a little bit easier to hit stuff. Alright, so let's fire this puppy up. Let's go and hit the, uh, there's your propeller, which is completely pointless. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start to roll forward here. And then let's get a little bit of speed. We're going to hit the two key. It's going to start our hover. Now, the biplane isn't particularly fast. I don't really like too fast when it comes to the traditional flying. I could probably go a little bit up on this, but to kind of give you guys a little idea as to how this works. So, I've got my up and down arrow keys to where I can actually pitch up and down. And then I have my left and right as my rolls, which it really, really makes this thing pretty easy to control. You know, I think we're going to go ahead and pick up some speed. I know biplanes weren't exactly fast. But I have to say, this is probably a little too slow. Let's go ahead and try to simulate a landing here. Uh, and let's go ahead... Oh, just killed the propeller. Let's go ahead and start to lose some speed here. Oh, boy. And this is where the new mod really comes in, because right now, all we're really doing is we're hovering. We're hovering and pushing ourselves forward. This is not flight. Scrap Mechanic does not have an aerodynamic model. So, let's go ahead, let it down, and kill those. There we go. Messy. Messy. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, kick these up a little bit. Let's go up to... I don't know if we're ready for three. Let's go up there, up there. 
And we'll kick these back. Actually, these were up quite a bit. I think this was a, a balancing thing. I think initially when this thing would go forward, it would actually flip itself. All right, I have to say that's a that's a wee bit better there. There we go. So this thing does have an AD converter to try to turn itself. So in combination of that and the rolling, uh, you can really almost get kind of a natural look to it. So I'm actually really, really happy with this. Now, lightweight blocks are a little hard to work with to me when you're building flying things. And that's really just because they're lightweight, like they're not as stable. So you kind of overcompensate a lot with your thrusters thinking you're gonna need a whole bunch of them when you really don't, or at least I do. All right, here we go. I got some strict follow cam going. Now, unfortunately, first person's down a little bit. I might need to set the, the seat up by one block to get it a little higher if you actually wanted to do first person. But yeah, I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, let's do some multiplayer uh, dog fighting, and I do believe that's gonna be coming up very soon. Uh, it finally seems like it's gonna be somewhat possible here in Scrap Mechanic. So anyways, let's go ahead. We've got some guns on this bad boy. Let's go ahead and light those up. And no, they do not hit the propeller, so don't worry about that. That'll be completely fine. There we go. And we can go down. Probably hit some targets. It's still extremely hard to hit targets from the air. That's why I think air-to-air -air targets will be fine, but like hitting ground targets, it is tricky. But overall, still I'm really pleased with this plane. And it feels really good because it's just been so long since I've really created something that flies. Besides the orbital cannon we did just a couple days ago. Seize fire, there we go. We're in strict follow. Can we complete a loop in this thing? I don't know if this one uh, has enough forward thrust to do that. Let's go ahead. Let's get it up here. Ooh, will it, will it be able to do it though without falling? Oh, yes. Oh, we just stalled it some. Oh, come on, push forward, push forward. Oh, and here's where your floating comes in or your hovering in scrap mechanic. That, that saved me a whole lot there. Oh boy. But yeah, even though it's just all made out of cardboard, I'm still uh, pretty happy with it. I could have done a lot of things to try to make it look better, but yeah, you're really limited when it comes to destruction parts right now, uh, besides using other mods. But anyways, let's go ahead and land this thing, and I'll show you guys on the ground what it looks like when you rip this thing apart. All right, we're coming in for a landing here. Let's go ahead and start to drop some altitude. Uh, we are coming in sideways on the runway, but it's going to be okay, folks. We're gonna land. You know, I think a lot of these just landed out in grass fields anyway, so... This is a luxury here with this field. Alright, here we go. Oh, correct it a little bit. Uh, you know what? We'll take it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was a little messy. I mean, probably would have blown apart there, but still. Pretty awesome. Alright, so uh, we're gonna grab a turret. I want to show you guys, because in the uh, little intro, I wasn't able to fully demonstrate by getting knocked out of the sky. I still need to get up there with the buddy and do some uh, multiplayer flying, but let's grab a turret real quick. All right, we're gonna grab the Spudlin gun. You've probably seen this on Scrapman's channel. Uh, it's really awesome because it's uh, vanilla and easy to spawn and fire, so let's go ahead, put this here. All right, let's hop up in here. We've used this quite a bit for multiplayer Mondays because I think we, uh, we blow apart about every creation that we have <laughs> with this now. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and blow this plane apart. Let's go first person. Let's light it up. Oh, buddy. So, yeah, you can imagine what this would look like in the sky, especially if you lost your wing. Dude, that is just so awesome looking. Yeah, there's uh, several damage points. Of course, if you get hit in the seat and that goes, or if you get hit right around there and it disconnects, you're completely done. If you lose certain engines, you're completely done or thrusters, I should say. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to knock these planes out. Now, they do have some uh, completely destructible mods on the workshop that make every part destructible, but uh, we experimented around with those a little bit multiplayer, and I'm not sure they're quite ready. I, it feels like they kind of screw a couple things up, but dude, that is awesome looking. We completely tore that apart. Oh yeah, now if we can only get some sort of impact destruction, so say if I crash this plane and pieces would come off, that would be really cool so anyways that is the cardboard biplane feel free to download it uh, I do suggest kind of mapping it a little bit different because everything's on buttons so I would suggest maybe mapping it to your arrow keys and then use the AD for your turning and it makes it actually rather easy to fly and then of course you can always adjust the thrusters yourself uh, to where you're comfortable but anyways let's move over to the next plane 
All right, so for our next creation here, I took the red Baron plane and I stripped uh, some of its wings off and we're actually using a new mod. Now I'm gonna flash the mod creator's name on screen because I don't know how to, s I mean, I, I could guess it saying that, I'd probably screw it up, so I think I'd rather just uh, put it up on screen. But yes, we do have wings and scrap mechanic. Now you're probably asking yourself, and I'm actually asking myself the same thing, how in the heck does this actually work if there's no aerodynamic model? Well, he's got a formula that is listed on the workshop for how this works, kind of how you need to calculate how much wing and what different types of wings you need, but this does lift. Now, I warn you, this doesn't fly the greatest. I'm only about 30 minutes into this mod, and I've just been experimenting with it, but it creates lift. Now, the only things that you'll see here, I do have thrusters, What you actually need the thrusters to carry the speed and once you get up to a certain amount of speed, you'll get the lift. Uh, you'll see a couple additional thrusters up here, and I most likely won't use these. I was using these occasionally to maybe blip them real quick to help lift off the runway, uh, because sometimes the, uh, the concrete's a little, or the asphalt's a little rough, but I might not even need those. Now, as far as flight controls, uh, this thing is sensitive. Uh, you can see a bunch of double bearings. I'm using controllers to adjust the different angles. And I'm adjusting these between 5 and 10 degrees. It's really, really sensitive. So you just, it takes a long time to get used to, but once you convert everything over to like an A and D converter and get used to the buttons, uh, it's actually, uh, I think this is the future of flight and scrap mechanic, at least until we get a proper aerodynamic model. All right, folks, here we go. I hope I have this balanced. Uh, it took me a couple times to uh, find out which wing position I really need to be in in order to get the lift. I initially tried the uh, the Red Baron design with the three wings and it would immediately backflip. So let's test this out. The only thing we need to do is hit the one key. It'll start up our thrusters. Give it a second. It's gonna start rolling, rolling, and waiting. There it is. There's your lift. I'm not doing a thing right now. Now, I don't know how to keep this thing 100% stable. Hold on, let's go ahead. Let's roll real quick. By the way, there's my rolling. Uh, I'm using the little angles on the wings uh, at the end. Now, I didn't start my propeller up because I'm... Oh, that's the invisible wall, isn't it? Oh, oh we're going to die. Oh, we're going to die. Okay, on, stop that. Oh, now... Oh, oh, great. We're stuck in the creation. Scrap mechanic, why do we still do this? All right, so we laid it by the trench tile over here. Let's go ahead and set this back down. Now, I have to talk to Moonbow. I think I've seen him do this before. Uh, I have to kind of spam the forward thrusters to keep this thing even in air. Uh, let's go ahead and start up again. Give it a second. Get some lift. So you can see it's traveling up. So I kind of turn them off a bit and do that. Now, I don't know if there's a way to perfectly balance this particular plane. Uh, I would hope maybe there is. Let's go ahead and start to turn here. Uh, it's taking a little bit of dancing here on the keyboard. But once I think you get used to this, this actually is going to be really the way to go with a lot of flying. There we go. That's pretty... Oh, no, no, no. Don't hit Don't hit the thing. Don't hit the thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're working it. We're working it. Now, I do have ways to try to lift here. Oh, let's keep going. Oh, that's a tree. No! <laughs> I had a good... Oh, man. I had such a good angle going around the mountain there. Yeah, I might have to custom uh, key map this plane, too, but... It's just taking a little bit to get used to flying, but it's so fun. And it's rewarding the more you tweak with it and try to figure it out. So let's uh, let's get back up in the air again. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. Now I do have ways to attempt to uh, get some lift and make it go up and down. You can see them here in the back. Uh, let's go ahead and try to use those a little bit and see how useful they are. Maybe it'll help me on takeoff a bit. Oh, buddy. Oh, there it goes. Oh, you know what? That's actually... Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh-oh, we might have gone a little too high here. Well, let's let it even out. Oh, I hope we can fight this. Oh, let's try to get lift. Hey, that's working. Okay, so the tail section is helping a bit with this. It's still a little bit. Hold on, let's see if we can... Oh, come on, avoid the wall. Avoid the wall. Oh, yes. Oh, we did it. Oh, let's try to flatten it out. Let's get some lift. Okay, yeah, this is all about controls. As soon as you figure that out... Oh, that is so awesome. Now, question is, does the spud gun... Okay, that doesn't seem to affect it. Uh, what about the propeller? Oh, is my propeller... Oh, I might not have my propeller hooked up. The spud gun's not actually... Actually, it is generating a little bit of lift with it. Okay, so 
That's something to keep in mind. Now, the propeller is probably, since it turn when it turns, it would probably move it a bit. I'm not sure about how extreme and Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Lift, lift, lift. Go that way. Oh! All right. This is way easier than the traditional uh, flying approach. This is so sweet. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is amazing. All right. This might be one of my new favorite mods in Scrap Mechanic. I'm going to have to build another plane. This was actually really quick, too, this uh, plane that I put together. I mean, of course, I was using the body of the Red Baron. But as far as the flight controls, it did not take long to figure out at all. Oh, this is cool. Can we completely roll? Is that a thing? Uh, you know, I could probably make those go a little bit more aggressive. Let's try to roll here. Uh-oh, the rolling's gonna... Oh, I need to go up, 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 we're going back up. Oh, no! Oh, that is so satisfying. Now, there is cardboard wings, too, so I guess this would be an option for multiplayer dogfights also. That is too cool. Like, that is amazing. I've got a big goofy smile on my face because we have this in Scrap Mechanic now, and these wings are amazing. Let me know what kind of uh, planes you want to see next in Scrap Mechanic. Now, do keep in mind the wings have to kind of... Now, do keep in mind, we only have certain amount of wings here. Uh, the ones that you're seeing, the airfoils, uh, these are the biggest ones we've got so far. So I don't know if we we're going to get bigger ones. So if anybody's thinking like 747 or something, uh, that's probably out of the question. I'm thinking morally like maybe biplanes, maybe World War II fighters, stuff like that. Uh, we'll probably create more of. And then uh, if I can use some of the mod packs, which like I said, this is vanilla except for the, uh, the wing. Uh, I would like to actually be able to use some of those. And uh, we can get a little bit better shape. It might not be destructible, but still, it would be pretty awesome. Oh, let's go and use that. Oh, that takes off so much smoother now uh, since I'm using the uh, flaps in the back. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Pretty quick episode. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the new wing mods, uh, the build that I was working on previously, which once I saw the wing mods, I was like, oh, man, we got to use those too, so... Yeah, I'm really glad I actually tried these out. Uh, these are available in the workshop. I will uh, link it down in the description. I will link the uh, Red Baron in the description. I'm not going to do this plane yet because it still needs just a wee bit of tweaking. But uh, once I'm happy with it, I'll probably post this one too. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, like I said, comment below with things you want to see in Scrap Mechanic. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.